Maker's Movement has really taken off in the last few years, and what it's about is enabling people to create anything they can imagine. We've partnered with the tech shop and with Intel to develop a young makers program for middle school girls. The girls have created inventions that they've designed from the beginning to the end, and they're learning to use technology as a tool to build them. Unicorn mug, you guys are on laser cutter. They're 3D printing, they're programming with Intel Galileos, they're working with LEDs to create rainbows. Kids have endless ideas, and the maker movement allows them to really pursue those ideas. So we're making a dancing trash can. Throw your trash in the trash can, the top goes down, and then it starts dancing. The beauty of having projects like this that are fun and whimsical is that the girls can get passionate about these projects and almost as a side thing actually learn how to do all this heavy engineering, heavy math work. We're going to have the board controlling the trash can. The reason Tech Girls was developed is because there's a lack of women in technology. We've found with traditional STEM programs that the girls lose interest about the age of 12 and 13. The maker movement has come along and allowed the girls to pursue their passions. We're getting girls to stay in STEM programs. We're not losing them after the first year. And the idea is that as they become young makers and inventors, they're going to stick with it for the future. All kids can be an inventor at home. You don't need the fancy tools. Making is a spirit. It's a movement. It's an idea. We have given them a voice, and we've allowed them to realize that their voice is just as powerful as anybody else's. Watching these girls go from being completely nervous and scared about technology to being masters of it is phenomenal. With Intel support, we've taught these girls how to become makers, to be the next CEOs of companies, to be the next innovators. Their entire futures are ahead of them, and it's pretty awesome to be a part of it.